Greetings to you on the Movie Minute channel. This is a review of the Italian fantasy superhero movie called Invisible Boy. At the beginning of the movie, we see a boy named Michel Silenzi cycling to his school in Trieste, Italy. He has a 50 euro note with which he plans to buy a costume for a party. At school, he sits behind his longtime crush, Stella. Their class is interrupted by a police officer named Giovanna who also happens to be Michelle's mother. She is there to inquire about a student's disappearance. Giovanna requests the class to inform the police if they hear from the missing student. After she leaves, Michelle's nose starts to bleed, so he runs to the bathroom. His bullies, who have been troubling him for a long time, threaten him into handing them all his money. He goes back home, disheartened by the incident. He brings out a few pennies he had saved and decides to buy one with the money. Michelle then visits a rusty-looking store and asks for a superhero costume. The shopkeeper hands him a skin-tight overall and a lousy cape. He claims that it is the suit of a Chinese superhero. Michelle doesn't seem fond of the costume, but buys it anyway. When Giovanna returns home from work, she sees Michelle in his costume refusing to go to the party because he thinks he looks stupid. She reassures him that he looks good and sends him to the party. There, Michelle enjoys himself and even talks to his crush, Stella. But then, his bullies play a video of Stella walking through the street. They claim that the video was found on Michelle's phone and that he has been stalking Stella. An embarrassed Michelle runs to the bathroom and locks himself in. All of his classmates bang on the door from outside, asking him to open it. Michelle is frustrated and wishes that he was invisible right before the lights go out. In the following scene, we see him jump out of the bathroom window and go back home. The next morning, Michelle wakes up to his dog barking at him. He doesn't pay him much attention and goes to the bathroom to brush his teeth. When he looks into the mirror, Michelle is beyond shocked to see just his robe and the brush. His body is invisible in the mirror. Michelle rushes out and takes his robe off. Just then, his mother walks in and completely ignores the boy, proving that only Michelle can see himself. When she starts looking around, Michelle quickly writes that he has gone to school early on a paper and places it on the bed. Giovanna reads it and dismisses the matter. After leaving the room, she calls Michelle on his phone. An invisible Michelle picks it up and tells her that he is fine. Confused about what he should do next, he dresses up in long-sleeved clothes. After covering every part of his body, he goes to school and watches Stella from afar. Michelle then notices his bully and plans to teach him a lesson for troubling him so much. He takes his clothes off and walks inside the school, naked and invisible. During class, he picks up the bully's paintball gun and uses it on the teacher, making the teacher suspend the bully. Then, Michelle makes his way to the girl's changing room and watches them undress. Suddenly, a towel lands on him, making his silhouette evident to everyone. Right then, his powers start to fade, making him visible again. The girls scream as they see a naked Michelle under the towel. The next day, Michelle is in his class, where a psychologist named Basili is giving a lecture about teens' mental health. Two of Michelle's classmates have run away from home in the past month, so he thinks it is necessary to understand teens' way of thinking. As Michelle listens to the lecture, his hands start to glow, and suddenly, they disappear. Thankfully, the class is over and he runs out before anyone can see him disappear. He rushes home, covering all parts of his body, and sees his little sister Candela in his room. Michelle asks her to go downstairs while facing the wall. A suspicious Candela opens and closes the door to make it seem like she has left. Michelle doesn't turn around to check and starts to take his clothes off. When he turns around, Candela screams in fear, seeing her brother is invisible. Michelle calms her down and tells her that his costume has given him superpowers. Meanwhile, at the police station, the psychiatrist Basili works with Giovanna to investigate the missing children. Giovanna insists that the children might be kidnapped, but Basili argues they are just being rebellious, which is normal for their age. When Giovanna returns home, Michelle is still invisible. Giovanna talks to someone on the phone, revealing that Michelle is adopted. A surprised and hurt Michelle walks out of the house to a nearby swing. While he is swinging, Stella arrives there and thinks Michelle is a ghost. She doesn't seem to be scared and instead asks him to be her friend. He makes a smiling face on the sand to communicate with her. The two decide to meet again. After Stella leaves, Michelle sees a man nearby staring at him, although he is invisible. The man walks away using a stick, revealing that he is blind. At night, Michelle visits Stella's home. Stella is delighted to have made an invisible friend. The two kiss, but right then, Michelle's powers start to fade. He runs away before Stella can see his face. Later, Stella is in her gymnastic class alone when a needle strikes her back. It 
makes her drop unconscious. Elsewhere, Michelle has decided to tell Stella about him being the invisible boy. He makes his way to her gymnastic class with his dog. When he reaches the building, he sees a masked man carrying Stella. Michelle attacks the man and the dog bites his hand. However, the man manages to escape with the girl. Later, the police arrive at the scene. They figure that the missing children weren't running away, but have been kidnapped. Stella wakes up in a strange facility with her head attached to several wires. The psychiatrist Basili is there interrogating her. It turns out that he is the one who has been kidnapping the children. They run some tests on the girl and send her to a cell. Two of her friends who had gone missing before her are there too. Mm. The following day, Michelle is alone at a nearby beach when suddenly, the blind man from the previous day appears in front of him. The man answers all of Michelle's questions before he can ask them. It is as if he can read minds. When Michelle asks him who he is, the man reveals that his name is Andreas and he is Michelle's father. The boy doesn't believe Andrej and accuses him of lying. Andrej then begins to tell his story. He used to be a normal man from a small town in Russia until a devastating nuclear explosion hit the town. The radiation killed a lot of people and made a permanent change in others. It caused their DNA to mutate, giving them unique superhuman abilities like flying, telepathy, being invisible, and so on. These people were called the Specials and were brought to a military camp called the Division to be used as weapons. The Division used them beyond their capacity. The more power the Specials used, the weaker they got. Another side effect was that everyone was infertile, except for Andreaj and Michelle's mother. The two gave birth to Michelle, who was the first Special kid. But as soon as he was born, they took him away. So the parents decided to run away with Michelle and were successful, but the people from the division weren't going to back down. They pursued the couple to bring the child back. Michelle's father had the power to read people's minds while his mother had the power to be invisible. Andreji managed to run away with Michelle, but his wife was killed by the division. Andreji knew Michelle wasn't safe with him, so he put him in front of Giovanna's door after reading her mind and confirming she was a good person. Now, the people of the division have found out that the special kid lives in the town, so they are kidnapping children and testing them to see if they are special. After listening to his true origin, Michelle is shocked. He almost doesn't believe it, but Andreji says that they do not have much time to talk because the fisherman beside them thinks Andreji is suspicious and has called the police. Andreji hands Michelle a suit that turns invisible, along with his body. He then removes the fisherman's memory and leaves. The police arrive shortly along with Basili. Giovanna reveals to him that Michelle is adopted, which makes Basili believe that he might be the special kid. He offers to take Michelle home. When they reach home, Michelle notices Basili's hand injury which is at the exact place his dog had bitten Stella's kidnapper. He looks at the man suspiciously and tries running away. It turns out that Basili has locked all the doors and is planning to abduct him. Michelle runs into a room and takes off his clothes, turning invisible. He manages to escape while Basili follows him. When they are on the streets, Michelle sees his bully Ivan on his bike. He sits behind him and asks him to drive away quickly. A nervous Ivan obliges. When they reach a safe area, Michelle reveals himself to Ivan and tells him all about their classmate's abduction. Meanwhile, Stella and her friends see ventilation on the ceiling. They climb on each other and Stella manages to step outside. While hiding from guards, she climbs a tower and reaches a searching light. Believing that her invisible friend is looking for her, she makes a smiling face on the light and flashes it up to the sky. Michelle sees the smiling face and realizes that Stella is trying to hint at them. He and Ivan follow the light, but as soon as they get there, Stella is caught by the guards. Ivan causes an electric malfunction using his paintball gun as an invisible Michelle goes inside. He sees Basili and his men monitoring Giovanna and Andreji, who have joined hands to look for Michelle. He then goes further in and knocks out a guard. Using his gun, he threatens the other guard to open the cell where Stella and the others are trapped. After getting them out and trapping the guards inside, Michelle reveals himself to his friends who are beyond surprised. The boys want to run away, but Stella insists they save an old man who she had seen locked in another room. She and Michelle go to save the man, but Stella takes him to the villains instead and points a gun at Michelle. She suddenly falls unconscious, and the old man behind her starts talking. It turns out that he has the power of mind control. He has been controlling Basili and Stella to get Michelle here. 
He then brings down a submarine and puts Michelle and Stella in it. The men take the two into the sea. Just then, Andreji and Giovanna arrive at the place and meet Ivan. The building has been set to explode in a few seconds. They quickly save the two abducted kids and Basili from inside. Andreji reads Basili's mind and realizes that someone was controlling him. They quickly get away from the building, which explodes in pieces right after. Back in the submarine, Michelle discovers his telekinesis power and starts trashing the place. Using his powers, he manages to kill the men and save himself and Stella. They finally get back to the shore, where a lot of people are waiting for them. Michelle goes invisible in front of them, flaunting his power. Andreji tells Michael that they will have to remove everyone's memories because the division will come looking for them again. Michelle obliges and kisses Stella for the last time. Andrei tells Michelle he will be back and leaves after erasing everyone's memories. Everyone then returns to their normal life. The scene cuts to somewhere in Russia. Michelle's mother, who was thought to be dead, was only wounded in the encounter. She had defeated the division back then and is now ruling it. In fact, she was the one who sent those people to get Michelle back to her. The woman is now against all the normal people who look at them as if they are freaks. At last, a guard informs her that although they lost Michelle, they have found his twin sister Natasha. A clip of the past shows us that Andreji ran away with two children that day. The movie ends as the guard tells Michelle's mother that Natasha is somewhere in Morocco, hinting towards a sequel. Guys, if you like the video and want more content like this, then subscribe to the channel and do not forget to like it. With you was Movie Minute.